And that's one of the things that blocks the awareness of our inherent divinity. Because the thing about astrology, yes, it's true. Yes, it's real. But what we don't understand is that there's two aspects of this nature. There's consciousness and there's matter. Now, astrology and all this other stuff, that is the science of tracking the ev evolution of matter. Matter is shifting and changing. Da, 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 da. But we're not matter. Matter is a part of what we are. But when we identify with matter, we become bound to astrology and karma, et cetera, et cetera. So if we identify with the consciousness aspect, if we really start to understand what that is, then we start to supersede karma. We start to supersede astrology. The yoga books say this. When you truly identify the, the cosmic nature of yourself, you can change your karma and astrology. Mm. You know, I, uh, I, I, I said this some years ago. Um, astrology can only put paint on the car. Meditation is when you actually go under the hood. Mm. So basically saying astrology can only take you so far. But just like uh, uh, my man Trav said, there's deeper understandings that will supersede that astrology for sure. When you look at life in general, so many deeper aspects, the deeper we go into life, the deeper we go into consciousness. And I don't, a matter of fact, I don't know if anybody noticed, but somebody put me on to this, but they turned back on the hydrogen collider. They just turned it back on. Uh -huh. um, it's so funny that we're talking about all this multiverse of madness. They just turned this thing back on in April, I believe. And they didn't, it wasn't even a lot of news about it. You know, a lot of people didn't even know. But yeah. I noticed that things start turning up even more after they did it and dreams people i know who don't dream personally they're like man i had a dream i had this dream out of nowhere so we're jumping into these different realities and you know they're trying to find this god part of it, which could be looked at as melanin but on a deeper level it could be like dark energy dark matter mm -hmm. which is the fabric of everything the fabric of the universe and they're trying to forge their own weapons and forge their own reality with this stuff and now they're getting into these quantum computers they're trying to pull reality from other realities which you ain't really supposed to do you know and this just takes things deeper and deeper and deeper into extraterrestrial information because that's really where all this technology is coming from and you know that's one of the biggest secrets on this planet that uh you know and if a person's metaphysical and don't see extraterrestrials i don't even understand like because shango oh yeah you know thor whatever god that people want to call uh, uh help help them with their and they these beings have consciousness these beings are extraterrestrials. Not now, not extraterrestrials in the sense of they have a gray head and big eyes. No, they just don't live here. Right. They don't live here. They live in a whole nother realm of consciousness, a whole nother realm of reality. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're trying to pull on that reality just to change our reality. And the truth is, we have the ability to change our reality. We already are gods. We have that ability to change our reality by the things that are here in our world. So in the in the conference, I'm gonna go deep into this. Uh, extraterrestrial information in, in ways that people never heard of before and show how it relates to us and pretty much prove and show it, that we are gods mm. and go really deep into some things that's coming up as we move forward into this world. But yeah, the hydrogen collider was turned back on and that's a really big deal because the first time I heard about it was Bobby Hemmett and he talked about how, you know, all these black dots start coming through the hole. And when it happened, everything started changing. Mandela effect and all this stuff started happening. And now I'm starting to hear new stuff. People are saying that happened and didn't happen. People starting to put new stuff out there. So mm -hmm. they're playing with our reality, but the truth is you have your own hydrogen collider in your brain. You can change your own reality at will, you know, so. What we are about the business now is awakening. <laughs>